Hey guys, Nate Rose here again, and we're on a move session number three, all right? And so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna work out and loosen up our hips and our lower body, all right? But we're gonna actually start on the floor. So for those of you who are sitting behind a desk all day long, like myself now, <laughs> this is gonna be a great way to kind of help open up those hips and loosen up the lower body to get ready to uh, exercise, all right? So we're gonna start on our back first. We're gonna go all the way in our back. We're gonna bend our knees like as if we're gonna do a crunch. Our knees need to bend about 45 degrees, okay? We're gonna lay all the way down on our back. We're gonna turn our palms up to the ceiling. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go up and down with our hips, dragging through our heels so we're working our glutes, all right? So sticking that chest out, just drive the heels into the floor, squeeze the butt. And when you're at the top, what I want you to do is squeeze those shoulder blades together and it's really, really get a good stretch on that chest with the palms up, okay? Rotating those palms up, trying to open up that chest, squeezing the butt, all right? I'm gonna go down and up, we're gonna go 10 reps. We're gonna go all the way down, drive up through the heels, inhale down, exhale up, squeeze the butt, driving through the butt, okay? Try not to use your lower back, but use their glutes, all right? So keeping those abs nice and tight, down, and then drive up through the heels. You wanna kinda of tuck your pelvis up underneath, okay? I'll show you, so it's kinda of like this. So we're gonna arch, we're gonna tuck, drive our low back into the floor, and then drive up with the heels, squeezing that butt, all right? Let's go five more, okay? Down, and squeeze up one. Inhale, up two. You should really be feeling the glutes. Three, if you wanna feel it more, try to pull the toes up off the ground. Four, we're gonna go one more, we're gonna go up and hold it for about 15 seconds. Good, and just hold it. Keep those abs nice and tight. Keep the shoulder blades together. Squeeze the core. Here we go. And hold it. Work those glutes. Hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. You should really be feeling that, that butt on fire right now. And funny saying I used to hear, I heard before, is you got two dimes and a nickel and you wanna try to make a quarter. So squeeze those glutes, okay? Really hold it and come down, relax, so it should be on fire right now. So now we're gonna go out to the side, palms down. We're gonna bend our knees 90 degrees, we're just gonna go side to side with the hips. Try to go all the way to the floor, just really loosen up that back and the hips. Okay, we're gonna go 10 reps. I'm not gonna do all 10 today, okay, to speed up the, the video, okay? We're gonna go 10, five on each side, okay? After you do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go one leg straight, we're gonna bend our other knee 90 degrees with our opposite hand. I'm gonna take my right hand on my left knee. I'm gonna pull it all the way down to the floor, okay? Really get a good stretch on that, on the hips and on that lower back. Try to keep your shoulder on the ground, but it doesn't matter if it comes up off the floor, okay? It comes off the ground, that's all right. It should be, our focus is to stretch out the glutes and the lower back, okay? On the left leg, all right? We're gonna hold that for about 15 seconds. Reset your hips, make sure your hips and everything are nice and straight. And bend your right knee 90 degrees, left hand on that right knee, right hand on the floor, palm down, and stretch. Try to get all the way down. Loosen up that hip and that lower back. It's a really good stretch for your glutes and that lower back, okay? I'm gonna hold that for, we hold these stretches for about 10 to 15 seconds, okay? You can go up to 20, just depends on how much time you have to warm up. Okay, and now we're gonna just pull both our knees to their chest. You should feel a nice stretch on our lower back <clears throat> and the glutes. You can kind of rock side to side. Should really feel a nice stretch on there. Oh yeah. All right, now we're gonna go on our hands and knees. Okay, so we're gonna roll over. We're gonna go on our hands and knees. <clears throat> To start, we're gonna do some more stretches on the, on the back and the spine first, okay? So we're just gonna do a cat and cow real quick. We're gonna round our back like a scared cat, and then arch up, and round, and then arch, you wanna stick your butt out, really get a good arch, and then tuck your hip underneath and round. Try to pull your shoulder blades up to the ceiling. All right, and good, okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go straight to a down-facing dog, all right? We're gonna have our hands about shoulder-width apart, bring our feet a little closer together. We're gonna lock our legs out, drive the heels into the floor, okay? You wanna try to look between your legs, try to lock your knees out, 
and really drive your butt towards the ceiling, okay? You should feel a nice stretch in your calves, your hamstrings, and maybe your lower back. It just really depends on where you're tight. Some of you might not be able to lock your legs out, okay? So you can bring your feet back more, but the goal here is to drive the heels into the floor and the butt back, okay, towards the ceiling. That's our goal. Really driving the heels into the ground, getting a good stretch. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring, I'm gonna do the left leg so you guys can really see this. We're gonna bring our left leg up towards the front, okay? I'm gonna try to keep this at a 90 degree bend. I'm gonna have my right hand in line with the instep of my, my left foot, which is shoulder width apart, okay? I'm gonna lock my back leg out and really try to stretch out those hips. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my left elbow. I'm gonna try to bring my left elbow towards the floor and I'm gonna rotate up, twisting my upper body, all right? I'm gonna come down, bring my elbow towards the floor and twist and rotate, trying to keep the back leg straight the whole time. I'm just really trying to open up the hips, open up the shoulders. I'm gonna go five reps here, and I'll do the other side so you guys can see that, all right? Okay, and then, okay, I'm gonna go back on my knee. Remember, left hand, shoulder width apart, in line with my shoulders. Right foot up, bent 90 degrees, okay? So we can see my hands in line with the ends of my foot. I'm gonna straighten my back leg out. I'm gonna try to keep my hips nice and straight. I'm gonna bring my right elbow now towards the floor and twist. And right elbow down. And twist, rotate. Right elbow down. Another two more. Yes, a really good stretch on the hips and the chest and the lower back. Okay, good. All right, now I'm gonna do the kneeling hip flexor stretch, okay? And I'm gonna do the left leg so you guys can really see this. So I'm gonna keep, I have my leg back where it was. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sit up, okay? I'm gonna relax this back leg. I'm gonna try to drive my hips towards, this, towards the floor, okay? Really open up that left hip flexor, drop it down. And if you really wanna feel the stretch, you can bring your hands up towards the ceiling. Just reach up towards the ceiling. Try not to arch your back. Our goal is to come forward, but not overextend, okay? Just to come forward, drop those hips, and reach up. I'm gonna do this for uh, about 15, 20 seconds on each side. All right, good. Now, other side. And drop it down. Really sink down towards, towards the floor, okay? Try to keep this knee bent at 90 degrees. Open up those hips. Again, reach up towards the ceiling. Now, if you hold that for a 10 or 15 seconds, the last one's gonna be just called the child pose, okay? If you do yoga, you know what I'm talking about. Hands are gonna be out, we're gonna drop down, sit on our feet, drop our head towards the floor, and reach towards the, the up, up as far as you can. And just relax the shoulders, you should feel a nice stretch on those lats. And the last one, we're gonna roll forward and arch up. Stretch out that lower back on the hips. Try to relax your glutes. All right. And you got it. That's it. That was our move session three for the floor to open up those hips and that lower back and loosen up those lower extremities. Great one to start before leg day. All right, see you guys next time.